Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm doing a little bit of experimenting just to have some fun, but also because my friend David at the Clack Shack called me out on his uh, video recently where he was reviewing another rotary and he, he noticed that in my rotary review I had engraved this wooden egg and he was saying, well sure, it's wooden, what's so special about that? And he went ahead and engraved a live egg, or not a live egg, but an egg that he pulled from his chickens. Real fresh eggs, farm fresh eggs, if you know them, they, they generally are not white. They have like a brown or orangish tint to them and so you get a nice contrast uh, by putting a light engraving on that. So you should definitely check out that video. However, not to be shown up, I couldn't leave it alone so I had to make some Easter eggs. I don't have chickens laying farm fresh eggs so I had to go with white ones and I knew that white wasn't going to work. So we've gone ahead and my wife helped me out. Um, we threw some dye on these and I'm gonna throw a couple of them into the rotary and see if we can get any sort of markings on that. So let's jump into it and see what we get. All right, so I've got the laser set up here on the workbench and I've mounted the egg in the rotary and uh, we'll take care of getting a focus or whatnot first, but playing with the design in Lightburn and just gonna throw something simple on here on a partial one to even see if this is gonna work through it. Um, this could end up being a, a mess. It could have no effect, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot anyway. So uh, I've got this uh, image set up here. And so I'm gonna to need to figure out about how wide we can make this. So I'm just going to guesstimate that, uh, I'm gonna say about 30 millimeters is gonna be good enough for this. And there's some variation in the die here. So I'm gonna to have to find the best spot to do this. Looks like right in this area, it's gonna be best. And um, so let's resize this. Actually, first let's orient it. So let's see, the top of the egg, I believe is this direction. So we'll put it this way. And then I want the width to be 30. So it should resize the whole thing down like that. All right. That looks good and I've gone into my rotary settings here. I've already put in the circumference. I measured it, it's about 147 millimeters. So that should be good there. Um, I'm really just taking a guess at the speed and power here. I'm gonna start out at 6,000 and uh, it's just die on an eggshell. So let's start at something like 33% power and uh, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and then get the laser focused. We'll make sure it's all aligned and uh, we'll give her a shot. And there you go. Actually, it looks pretty good. All right, well, that actually worked pretty well. If I can bring this in close enough and get it to focus for you. It is uh, actually nice contrast and, and sharp detail. So the orange worked. I wasn't surprised about that. And uh, it just burned through to uh, just enough of the shell that it uh, shows a nice white. So let's try a couple of the other colors. We'll see if any of them have an area that we can do a little bit bigger engraving, maybe even a full 360, and uh, see what kind of fun we can have with this. All right, I've got a very blue purplish egg in here, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna work with the UV laser, and um, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. So I may just up the power a little bit and uh, keep our speed the same, and um, we'll give it a shot. So here we go. All right, well, the blue was a pleasant surprise. It actually worked fairly well. And so I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can do a full wraparound one. This one is about halfway around. Now my concern is I'm, <laughs> I'm struggling just a little bit here. Let's see if I can get this focused in. And you can see it worked pretty well, even on that curve. Um, 
But my concern and the struggle is actually getting them to hold and center well. The shell is so slippery that I tried the steel fingers and that worked okay, but then they were starting to slip. So I switched over to the longer kind of plastic rubberized uh, jaw chucks and they're working okay. Um, but it does kind of limit the uh, amount of travel you can get. So that's why I had to not get too high up on this part. But let's try one more. We'll see if we can do a full wrap around and see how that works. All right, well, that one worked out okay. I, I it uh, The Easter part uh, in the middle worked out all right. The eggs got a little skewed because I, I pushed a little high and I probably should have spaced it out just a little bit more. Those last two kind of came together, but uh, all the way around the egg, we have our design. So just had some fun to play around with this Easter season on uh, dyed regular eggs. These aren't farm fresh like uh, my friend David did over at Quack Shack, but uh, definitely check out his video as well on these rotaries. Um, just goes to show you, you do a lot of fun things with uh, unique items that you have around the house. All right, well, so now I've got some lasered Easter eggs and uh, I hope you found this uh, at least entertaining, if not uh, inspirational to do something with your laser. If you have one of these rotaries, it's a fun thing to do. If not, I'll leave a link down below for this uh, or tour rotary it's uh, compatible with many dial lasers out there you don't need to use it on just a nortour laser so go ahead and check that out i'll also have links to a few other items that i like to use in my shop with my lasers as well those are affiliate links i do get a bit of a kickback at no extra cost to you but as always no pressure if uh, you have any comments or questions go ahead and leave those down below and uh, if you like what you saw here hit that like button and uh, maybe consider subscribing as well see what i get up to next in my workshop Otherwise, uh, I'm going to sign off here, but I do hope you can get out into your workshop and make something too. We'll catch you next time.